a tough one to take at Tanadice last weekend. How important is it that the team bounce back today? It's vital, yeah, that we show a, a reaction to a very disappointing performance and, uh, and result, uh, especially in front of such a, a huge travelling support. So the players, the staff, myself included, uh, all want to make amends here today in front of our home crowd. What needs to be better this time around? Well, I felt in the game against Dundee United, we, you know, we dominated large periods of possession and had in excess of 60 percent of the ball but I think in the opening 45 minutes the fact of the matter was we weren't effective enough with it there was no real end product uh, at nil nil we did have a great chance with Majofsky mm. unfortunately weren't able to, to capitalise in that particular moment but thereafter we never really troubled the Dundee United goal uh, got done with a couple of soccer punches just before half time which obviously turned the, the game in United's favour second half I thought we were a lot better we made some changes um, changed the system a little bit as well and definitely played the second 45 more on the front foot, um, more opportunities again, just it was one of those days unfortunately in front of goal that we weren't able to put the ball in the back of the net. At 2-0 I felt if we'd have got a goal back, um, you know, it would have obviously changed the atmosphere in the stadium and would have uh, made the United players a little bit nervy, but once it goes 3-0 then yeah. obviously we've got a huge mountain to climb. Is it an easy thing to fix that ruthlessness in front of goal or is it just players having an off day? Is it something you can work on in the training paddock? I don't think it's something that can be labelled as too much here at Pataudry. Um, you know, I think we're the third highest goal scoring team in the league, uh, 18 goals in total. Um, the majority of them have came here at home. We need to improve our away record. It's as simple as that. But you know, we haven't, uh, you know, dwelled on that result last weekend too much. We showed a great reaction to um, the the result at Hibs uh, by coming here and beating Kilmarnock convincingly, mm. and we're looking for a similar positive reaction today against a very good Hearts team. Yeah, four changes to your lineup to take on that good Hearts team. No Hayden Coulson, no Johnny Hayes in the squad today. How are those guys faring? Yeah, unfortunately Hayden hasn't trained all week. He's uh, had a bit of a bug. Um, hopefully he'll join back in with the group on Monday and be back in the playing squad for the for the big game on Wednesday night. Um, Johnny unfortunately pulled a muscle yesterday. Again, we're hoping it's not too severe. We'll get it scanned on Monday and um, find out the full extent of that. But it's unlikely that Johnny will be available for midweek. Sure, and it's an attacking lineup, I must say, with Duke coming in, with Leighton Clarkson coming in as well, lots of goals in amongst the, those forward players. What do you want to see from your team today? Well, as I said, I think we've been very good here at home, you know, and uh, you know, before the ball is kicked at the start of the season, we speak about trying to make this place a bit of a fortress and make it a difficult place for opposition teams to come, and we've, we've certainly done that. Um, we want to be an attacking-minded team. We've got some very good technical players in the middle of the park with Barron and Clarkson and Ramadani today. Uh, and we've got a great outlet with uh, you know, Duke and Majofsky up top as well. So hopefully we can give those two in particular uh, opportunities to go and get on the end of. But hopefully Barron and Clarkson can play nice and close to them as well and then, you know, get some shots away and then be a bit creative in the final third. Jim, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank good you luck. very much. Thank you.